Hi everyone, today I will uh, review and taste some cookies for you. No, just joking. Today I will review the new lens from Rockstar. It's a fisheye lens at 10 mm f.8. This lens is available on various mount, mount online from uh, Sony E mount and to Fuji X mount to Panasonic and Olympus Micro Four Third. This lens is quite cheap, it's about 65 euros and is available online on the classic uh, shop like eBay or Ali, AliExpress. It's made in China. As you can see, the box looks uh, like uh, a cookie box. And uh, outside you can see the Rockstar brand, the type of lens, 10 mm f.8 fisheye. And on the back you have two QR codes with some customer support information. The lens is made in China, obviously, for this price. Inside you will find a little hard, hard, hard case shell. It looks like a headphone shell. And one nice feature is uh, that half of the shell is the front lens cap. You can see, I think it's maybe metal, maybe plastic, I don't know. Maybe it's metal. So it's very protective for the lens. And the lens itself is very, very small. The rear lens cap is bigger than the lens itself. The lens is all aluminum or metal. Also the bayonet mount. You can see it's a market X mount in my case. And there's no aperture ring since it's a fixed f.8 lens. You only have two focusing reference. 0.3 meters or 30 centimeters and the infinity mark. Also in the front you have two little dots, one here and one here, that help you to understand where the focus is or they intend to help you. It's not very useful. If you turn to the right, full to the right is, is focusing at the infinity and since it's a f.8 is nearly all in focus. If you turn to the left, it will focus at 30 centimeters and we'll see the little dot. I hope you are able. It is aligned to the red reference here. If you turn full to the right, you will see the opposite point here, one here and here. It is focused to the infinity mark. Honestly, they had make it simple and uh, just uh, had a uh, fixed infinity focus uh, since the 30 centimeters is not so useful it will focus very very shortly and the background will all out of focus and since it is a fisheye or panorama lens normally you need all, all in focus they claim to have some uh, low dispersion lens inside probably it is the flare is very well uh, managed. I will show you some samples later. But uh, the overall quality, especially the um, sharpness is very, very low. I think it lacks on contrast and sharpness. Uh, you will need to do some tricks uh, or uh, use some contrast or liaison in Photoshop or any other image editor. Just for comparison, this is the Olympus 9mm, sorry, this way, 9mm f.8 fisheye. This is a lens cap for Olympus. It's all plastic, but you can notice the dimensions are very, very similar. This is the front, this is the back. This lens too has a, a focus selector one is the first click is the open for the lens front lens and you have two 
uh, sorry, three steps to focus, just, vis just for size comparison. Okay. Now <clears throat> I will show you how little bit is this lens on my Fuji X-T2, X-T2, sorry, here. Okay. Sorry for the strap. As you can see, the is very, very small. Just a little bit longer than the hand grip. Can be a, a very compact setup if you are traveling around and you would like to have a, a small fisheye lens on your on your bag. And uh, honestly, it's cheap and the quality is so so as I already told you. Um, can be a, a nice uh, fisheye if you are a novice or uh, if you just need a fisheye since a Fuji doesn't make any fisheye on its lens range. So let's see some sample I took. So here we are with some samples. This uh, shot is uh, to check uh, lens flare, and uh, as you can see, is uh, very well managed by the lens. Just a little bit here and here, but nothing so bad or unfixable on some image editing. Is very very well managed. And this is another shot with the sun on the top right. And you can spot some little flares here and there, but nothing so extreme. Just a little bit here. And also, if we zoom to 100, we can check the overall sharpness is not so bad. This is a these samples are from the straight from the Fuji XT2 JPEGs, so they are they are already managed by the camera software to uh, fix uh, some uh, chromatic aberration, uh, have some sharpness uh, added to the picture to the whole picture. Mm, the only thing I don't like uh, is uh, some kind of blurriness between high contrast uh, situation like here. Uh, you can see the white is a little bit uh, foggy. The border, I don't know how to say. The oral picture is a little bit foggy. Here the focus is not perfect. I was just testing. Chromatic aberration in this situation is very well managed by the camera. But I suppose that some issue here in a high contrast situation is a result from, uh, from the chromatic aberration of the lens managed by the camera software. You can see also here there is not a very defined border. It's a little bit so in, on the softer side. Also in the other sample here, you can see just a tiny bit if we zoom to 200, you can see just uh, here uh, some tiny bit probably of chromatic aberration not uh, fixed very well from the camera software. But I will show you later a um, sample from uh, our raw file. And we will notice better the chromatic variation, especially on the border of the frame. So these are three samples with the focus ring set to the 30 centimeters, uh, halfway. I don't know the real distance, I think three meters, five meters probably, and the infinity focus. Uh, just use as reference uh, this um, sign here and the tiles on, as background. This shot is the 30 centimeters and uh, you can hope easily notice 
we can zoom to 100. You can see the sign here is nearly well. You can spot this, uh, I zoom a little better. I don't know, double borders or not a, a good uh, definition between uh, the white side of the picture and the black side. It lacks uh, a little bit of contrast in my opinion or man uh, to manage uh, high contrast situation. Uh, as I already told you, with some dehaze and contrast and maybe some clarity, there is nothing you can fix uh, on any software, image software, sorry, in any editing software. <clears throat> you can easily spot, I zoom 100 again, that the background is very, very soft using the 30 centimeters uh, focusing ring set. There's a lot of blurriness. Nothing usable on panorama, at least if you don't want to make some kind of bouquet, even if at f8 of aperture we cannot talk about bouquet. This is the halfway, as I told you, probably three meters, five meters. I don't know, there's no mark on the lens ring. Let's zoom to 100. You can already spot a better sharpness on the background. Now we can sort of read the sign on the background. Also the tiles looks sharper. And the sign down here is a little better. And you can also notice uh, it's a little sharper, but not so sharp as I expect from a f.8 lens. Yes, I know it's a 65 euros lens, so you cannot ask anything better than this, probably. But just uh, maybe a little bit better uh, boundaries management or sharpness management. By the way, not so bad for a 65 euro lens, to be honest. And this is the infinity picture. And uh, we can now zoom at 100. And the sign now are readable. Good sharpness, even on the tiles down there. Just remember, these are JPEGs straight out of the Fuji. So is uh, the sharpness, uh, chromatic aberration is all managed by the camera. And here uh, you can notice the situation doesn't change uh, so much from the other shots. So <clears throat> the lens lack a bit of sharpness, not only on the borders of the lens, but also on the overall picture is a little bit on the softer side, to be honest. So these last samples are just to compare the field of view between the 1025 Fuji and 10 millimeters fisheye from Rockstar. This is the sample from the Rockstar. And you will easily notice it's a, a fisheye with these curved, curved lines here and there. And this is the Fuji 10 millimeters, same exposure. Just a, a little bit of difference on the white balance. I use the automatic gel. They are just samples, nothing so technically. And uh, you will notice uh, the fisheye have a more uh, a larger field of view. The Fuji 1024 is uh, 110 degrees, if I remember correctly. The Rockstar 10 mm fisheye is around 120, but uh, I will uh, put a link in the description uh, uh, to a friend of mine website that did a very good uh, technical uh, inspection on the lens. Is my friend Luca Vascon. 
I will put the link in the description. So if you will check uh, uh, field of view, uh, that ki uh, what kind of uh, fisheye proje projection and also how many shots you need to take a full 360 uh, picture, check his uh, website is very, very useful if you like fisheye lenses. And uh, to end the comparison, to have nearly the same uh, field of view, you need to take one step back with the 10-24 Fuji lens. Not really, maybe it's one step, one step and a half back, because you notice I missed the, the right side of this build here. So talking about the chromatic aberration I told you before, this is a little sample, is a, a TIFF file from straight from the RAF or RAW file of the Fuji without uh, taking care of the chromatic aberration. And this is on the edge of the frame. Sorry, I can show you all for privacy, but I will just let you see the chromatic aberration. If we zoom in, we are now at uh, just a little bit of 300. You can easily spot when you have a high contrast situation, the chromatic aberration is quite heavy, but we are on the last. Uh, 10% of the whole frame. So at the end, I suggest you this lens. Mm, it depends uh, if you love or if you already have a fisheye or not. In my opinion, if you are a novice and want to try a full frame fisheye, why not? 65 euros, lock it at infinity. It's a f.8, so you need a tripod at night. But during the day, you can shoot without any problem. Can be good. Can be a good choice for you if you want to try and see if you can like these kind of shots. If you are more serious on fisheye lens, no, this is just a little bit better than a toy lens, in my opinion, and uh, not so useful for 360 pictures. And there are way better lens uh, on, the, on the web to buy not so expensive, uh, like the Meiki 6.5 is around 130 euros, or the Samyang 7.5 or 8 millimeters. There are also some Laowa, I hope you pronounce it like this, for Olympus uh, Micro 4.4, uh, if I remember the 4 millimeters or 4.5. And uh, they are not so expensive. Uh, they are starting around 130 euros for the Meiki 6.5 that I normally use uh, with my Fuji. And they are way better lens, more sharp, more uh, detailed. Lens flare is well controlled and is uh, usable for 360 pictures. Uh, also handheld, handheld if you don't own uh, a panoramic head. So at the end uh, is like a toy, or as Olympus uh, says <clears throat> for his uh, 9 millimeters, is a nearly a lens cap that can take pictures. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time.